Okay, it's cold, so I'm gonna do this quickly and do it quickly for your sake too because everyone likes a short video that can just get straight to the point. So here we go. Rock skipping. I'm going to show you how to skip some rocks. Those of you who would like to learn how to skip some rocks, here we go. So there's the ocean. We have some water. Ocean water sucks because it's ripply. We don't have like science flat water out here, which is what we need to skip the perfect rock, right? We need the perfect stone, we need, we need the perfect flatness. So, but it is still interesting to think about, well, how do you skip rocks in the ocean and have it be somewhat satisfying? Ah, here we go. So, not only we're gonna learn how to skip rocks right now, but we're gonna skip rocks on bad water, which, uh, there's a trick to it. So, this rock needs to be, let's, do a bigger visual aid here. This rock needs to be spinning like a frisbee, like a discus, like a, you know, a, a whirling football. It needs to be spinning nicely, meaning flat, meaning like that, for this to maintain this shape as it goes across the water. Because if this was just, just going with no spin at all, it would hit that water and then just immediately topple over like a, a like a sports car in a, in a wreck especially on choppy water so in order to get it spinning what is that called centrifugal or sen, 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 you know what i'm talking about this the other word i don't think it's centrifugal um to get it to be maintaining that shape and now if it's hitting the water flat, then it has a chance to, to skip. So the way we do that, and now with a smaller rock that's more proportionate to my hand, basically I have this just balanced on my, the, the, the side of my uh, middle finger there. And what I'm doing is I'm just poising to do this. I'm just grabbing this thing and where i want the rock to start its its motion is at the base of my index finger so that feels pretty good right there and what this is going to do is as it, as i let go of this like this it's going to boom 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 it's going to spin off of my finger it's going to it's going to whip Have you ever thought about why? Oh no, the wind screen. <sighs> okay, you ever thought about why Indiana Jones whip cracks? Why it makes a like a gunshot sound, but it's not hitting anything. It's not. It's just. It's just hitting the air. What, what's making the crack? It's not the whip hitting itself. It's not that. It's that the end of that whip is moving so blindingly fast that it's surpassing the speed of sound, therefore creating a sonic boom. It's a little firecracker sonic boom at the end of that whip. Wham! It's moving so fast it breaks the speed of sound and makes a makes magic in the in the in the ears. That's what we're doing with our body. Now, if you're someone who never learned how to throw a ball properly, then here's a bit of like, come on shirt, a bit of um, like boxing terminology or just mechanics of a human flinging something. We're not really, don't think of it as a human being throws a baseball or throws a rock across the water that it's really being flung that I'm going to fling this so now if I had Indiana Jones whip and I had like a hockey puck or something and then I just wrap that whip from the tip all the way to the handle and then like a yo-yo just had that thing like this and went wham and it, that hockey puck would be spinning 
like crazy fast, ideally fast, to create the flatness that we need to do this. Boop. Boop. Okay. Watch me do one first. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> okay, this one is kind of dumb. Um, here's what it sounds like. Because what it sounds, what, what, you want to know what some what the material sounds like, because then you'll have an even better feel for what you're dealing with. Okay. I don't know if you could see that. Anyway, that was pretty. Good. That was pretty good. So, um, and what what justifies a good skip is not the, the number of skips. That's completely arbitrary. It's the distance. It's the accuracy. If you want to aim at stuff, it's the it's moving targets. It like all of the other Olympic track and field things. It's distance shot put distance long jump distance uh javelin distance hammer throw distance javelin distance um and then the other elements like track and field running like speed so we have distance we have speed and we have accuracy we have archery we have we have curling <laughs> and we don't have a rock skipping come on now people what gives Come on, people. Come on, humanity. Come on, myself, really. Let's just get brighter. So, the way to skip a, okay. Let's talk about some, some, some mechanics. Let's talk about some kinetic energy transfer. If I move, oh, oh. Okay, if I move my shoulder first before I move, I could, lose, I could move my arm first, or I could move my shoulder first, and then let this drop. And then move, watch my shoulder. This is just gonna be a floppy fish, it's totally dead, watch. I move my shoulder first, and because my shoulder moves, it drags the rest of my arm with it. I'm, my, I'm flinging my hand, I'm flinging my arm at the source of my shoulder. And we can even think about the way a boxer throws a punch. Starting at the, the, the feet, it looks like this. Watch my foot first. My foot is going to move up first, Nothing else moves. Watch my fist. My my fist here won't won't go anywhere. Watch. It won't go anywhere. Heel. I'm now I'm torquing, and then I'm turning this. And my hand is still here, and now it's got all this force behind it. Oh my God! Torqued, ready to go. Watch. Slow motion. Foot first. Then it goes forward. You, you get the basic understanding. So that's the same thing we're doing here. We're just, if, whether you're throwing something, skipping something, something, it, we might as well just be Randy Johnson here, skipping, like pitching sidearm. That's all we're doing. We're just pitching sidearm. It's just a, a, look it up, baseball pitching sidearm. Randy Johnson, look up that guy. That's what a rock, a Randy Johnson would be the most amazing rock skipper ever. Okay, the way to skip a rock. Oh my God. <laughs> um, and so you want, so you basically you just want to be flat with the water. You want to be as close to the water as possible to get, to just get at whatever angle you want. And between, you know, uh, z one degree angle from your trajectory of, of the rock to the water. Say here's the water and here's your here's your rock. Like near I'm coming in at one degree angle versus you know 30 degree angle. There's a whole uh, variation out there. But somewhere between one and thirty, depending on the rock, depending on the water, depending, you know, just whatever. This is part of the art of it. 
In order to skip a rock on the ocean, what you do is you find a shallow part of the ocean, of the, of the shore, where the, here's the shore and here's the water and maybe just a little bit of an angle as opposed to a steep angle, like boosh, and the water's just coming in like that. You want your water to come in like this, boosh, and like, and s just spread out. But basically you're going to hydroplane your rocks then it smooths out as much as as much as ocean water can it's going to smooth out sometimes when there's some doldrums over in the far end of the cove in this other cove sometimes this spot which is why i'm here now uh gets this is the best spot to do it so uh hence the, where i'm doing it now for the video so uh that, you just skip it down the beach you, and if you're like in places like Hawaii or Malibu where the waves are like perfect, then you can go rock surfing and skip it like in the face of a, of a it's called, I, I call it wave jumping, where you skip a rock into the face of the wave and then it goes over it. So right before it breaks, then you throw the rock into the wave and it, and it you can either skip it down the wave like you can be like on a surfboard or something out with the thing and then just like hurl it down the tubes that you see. R go, go rock, rock skip surfing essentially. So ideally you would have super flat water. Ideally you would have like, you know, science controlled discs. Um, but this one I've been saving. So watch, we're losing light. Here we go. Here's what it sounds like got some it, it has a ring to it which means that it's like really like there, there's there's space in here which means that it's not as heavy as it looks oh my gosh okay one two randy johnson sidearm and i'll be there right. here we go Oh, it's still going. Oh, oh, and kaplunk. Okay. That was very satisfying. As much as ocean water can be. So that's how to skip rocks. Toodaloo. I better get out of here quick. Bye-bye.